chart update 10th of May. Getting the message yet? You're not getting out till you either rebel and the government backs down or the vaccine is ready. Note to censors we use only government data. If you have a problem with the results, speak to the government. New York City up to 2.1 million cases per 100 million population. Yep, a lot of connection with the virus everyone else is being hit by. On the state of New York, it looks like Cuomo anticipated Hubei locked down before Hubei levels, but here New York City is already past Hubei. We show the lockdown triggered on 20th of March and we give a long lockdown plus incubation period to the 29th of March. At which point you can see it was supposed to go sideways because everybody's inside. Instead, it hurtles up on and on. There was even a tiny little curl over at the top, but no, somebody cancelled that. As to the state of New York, is it just me or didn't the state of New York lock down so much? Here, it looks like Cuomo anticipated Hubei getting locked down early. So there you have lockdown, 20th March, and a long incubation, 29th of March. At that point, it's supposed to go flat. Everyone's inside. But look, it rockets to the moon. And watch the apologists say how much worse it would have been without lockdown. Seriously? Looking at New York City, uh, City cases, hospitalizations and deaths, here with cases on the left, hospitalizations on the right, about 30% of cases, symptoms, are hospitalized. <coughs> the key thing is the timing. Notice that you're hospitalized basically on the same day, which makes sense. Matching the peaks of the two curves, which requires no offset, change of data, sorry, that's change of date, for second chart. Now look at deaths, right axis, versus cases, left axis. Again, most deaths should coincide with most cases, but some time after. So how far do we have to bring the curve back to match the cases curve? Not long, it seems. Just five days. That doesn't seem to say much for Western medicine if you're dead within just five days of being diagnosed. But hey, that's what they're saying. Since hospitalizations are in sync with cases, the same goes there as well. You could nudge it back a couple of days to a week maybe, definitely going to look at other countries to compare. Meantime, the charts. As Taiwan is outside World Health Organization data, here it is, and it's a bit of a contrast with New York. At 1,159 times worse than Taiwan, I'm sure Cuomo has done a good job for somebody. And at 19 times worse than Hubei, and nobody in the Far East, including lying Australia and New Zealand, is as bad as Hubei, even Greece is nowhere near Hubei. Well done, Mr. Cuomo. Who needs a virus? The UK is just adding the same amount every day, almost literally. It doesn't even pretend to look like a virus anymore. Just a straight line heading up, and no that's not exponential, it's linear scaled. Just not bothering to pretend to be a virus anymore. Who needs deception when the public have so obviously believed everything that's been thrown at them? Why not just keep piling it on, the more the merrier. More justification for the vaccine. Naturally the normal distribution looks absurd, and the declining growth rate of a normal virus propagation? Forget it. Each day's growth should be three quarters of the previous days by now. It doesn't take long to crush growth to zero at that rate of decline. Imagine your paycheck dropping a quarter each time. Instead, the average dashed pink shows that each day's growth is still 99% of the previous day's growth. We're going to be here for a while. But hey, at least Italy's still here. Except it's changed a bit. Lost my chart with 240 individually specified lines, basically four lines per country. Excel blew up, I deleted it, got corrupted, who knows. And started to recreate it but thought this is insane. I already had the new World Health Organization download version with the data. Time to tweak it so that it's just push button, almost. So I'll still use the former spreadsheet for specialty charts like the UK as this doesn't do projections yet, maybe never, but most charts will skim through using the basic cases plus deaths as we've done before. So welcome to the new charts, same as the old charts pretty much, 5 day average of daily data, 
but I'll still only publish once every three days, overloaded as it is. Of course, with 214 countries, I could do 214 charts, but it won't be just yet, and it won't be commenting and narrating on each one for sure. A good thing? Whatever. So Italy, fine, slow but marked drop-off, what we call by now the approved EU core pattern. Italy's our original, so it goes first, but now it's by region. Algeria, deaths and cases started up again, pity, but a low level. South Africa, also a long linear, exponential on log trail, but from a low level and at a low rate. It was doing so well, but something just won't quit. Zambia, ultra low level, but not dead, creeping up and accelerating a little, curling up. Ultra low deaths, that's total, daily, not even plottable. Barbados flatlined, what we like to see, and love to see those beaches doubted at the rate we're going. Total destruction of economy, tourism, life and freedom, and we're sitting here. Brazil, heading up to Hubei, had a nice curl, but chose not to be done with it. The alt Sweden, so a nice result here, would have been good. Canada, OG, FPP, flat post peak, as opposed to EPP, extended post peak, which usually is at least declining. Looks like you have a case of the UK no escape till the vaccine. That figures, oh yeah, Trudeau, Gates, UK government, no normal till the vaccine. They meant it, the figures reflect it. What are you going to do about it? Ecuador continues its haphazard relationship with data, or it really does have no cases, no deaths, but I doubt it. Up to Hubei, above Hubei in deaths. Three pronounced curlovers, new regions hit, hopefully it'll round out here. Mexico climbing strongly from a low level, but gentle curl over throughout. God forbid this might actually be real data. USA, yeah, who wouldn't think to use USA, would they? And gee, looky here, flat post peak, someone doesn't want you out of this. Like I said, as long as you don't rebel, they'll just keep going. Only back off reluctantly to ensure you don't take their power. Big game fishing, and you're on the hook. EU, and we'll do Belgium first, hardest hit after New York, power centre number one. EU has an approved profile of EPP, or should that be EUPP, of extended but mildly declining post-peak. In case anyone's forgotten or is new, the virus is strangely political, hitting states and countries harder the closer they are to the US, New York, UK, EU axis. If you're away from the US, EU, UK axis, world X at left, your cases deaths are barely noticeable, 0.3 of a day's normal deaths. But if you're in that axis, severity rises, dare I say exponentially. European and other, e.g. Greece, Poland, Russia, Canada, USA, EU core, e.g. France, UK, Belgium, Brussels, EU HQ, and State of New York. Then finally, dwarfing even State of New York, New York City. If I was looking for a center of infestation, that's where I'd be looking. Never heard of a political virus, but I've certainly heard of politicians playing games to suit an agenda. WMD, Iran-Contra, just a couple of the authorised ones. You ain't getting out of this until you take down that infestation. The longer it's stiff up a lip and getting by, the longer they'll keep you in it. Up to you. Austria, done at Hubei levels, and drop off so marked one could almost accuse them of being independent of their US-EU-UK agenda. Croatia done, and at significantly lower levels than Hubei, joys of not being EU aligned. Denmark Danish, and EU approved mild decline post peak. I'm tempted to say that sharp kink length of March is a true lockdown flattening of the curve. You've got normal curl over evident before that, but that sharp corner looks like what you'd expect from a lockdown. Have to look into that. Finland and yeah, might be tempted to check out 13th March there as well, sharp corner but also FPP, flat post peak, so either EU aligned, surprising, or dribbling out what they'd have had anyway. France, modestly past Hubei in cases, but massively beyond Hubei in deaths. Noticed a while back their absurdly high death rates might have a peak at La Belle France, declining in EU-approved manner. Germany, modestly over Hubei, declining in EU-approved manner. Almost natural, hell, maybe it is need to take a closer look. I love Greece, no love of Brussels and nowhere near Hubei. Coincidence? Apparently not. Greece was one of the countries that tipped me to look at the political virus. Hungary, 
very low level in cases but high in deaths, and EPP in cases flat in deaths. Something weird, double curl over in deaths, maybe get it done now? Iceland, very high cases but very low deaths. Testing then, it seems, and deaths don't even show. Done, done, done. Ireland, high and high, not happy. Declining in EU manner, slow, but then it was slow on the way up too. Add it to the list of interesting case histories. Malta, Hubei cases, well below Hubei deaths, daily deaths not even registering. Even in Europe, it doesn't have to be a big deal. Netherlands, Hubei plus in cases, very high in deaths, delayed decline, close to Brussels, anybody got a map? Norway, Hubei cases, below Hubei deaths, falling away reasonably in cases, a bit unclear in deaths, but still, good result. Poland, low in cases, low in deaths, but flat post peak, at 2 Poland. Portugal, above Hubei in cases and deaths, slow to decline, standard EU profile. Russia climbing past Hubei in cases, still significantly below in deaths, but cases and deaths flattening also. Still not a peak, a rare case these days. Spain. Very high cases, very high deaths, and supposedly in lockdown. A pretty severe one. Who the hell died then? Sharp decline from high peak, definitely worth looking at. Sweden. Post a child for no lockdown, when in fact people should be looking at the rest of the world. And what? Did someone have a word? Totally flat. Is that even post peak? Death ditto. I'd be very curious to know their politics. Someone deciding they were doing a little too well, realised they were getting a bit too much attention. Turkey, Hubei cases, Hubei deaths. Remarkable how non aligned countries can match lying Chinese province Hubei. A nice drop off. Pays not to be in the EU, I guess. And hey, ourselves, UK, in the new format, climbing cases way past Hubei, climbing deaths way past Hubei, totally flat new cases, almost totally flat new deaths, we're living all well. How did we let that happen? Someone on LinkedIn chided me, you don't seriously believe third world figures, do you? Yeah, third world figures like Australia, New Zealand, South Korea, Taiwan, actually I do, maybe they should too. Australia, flat and done way back, cases massively dropped off. Deaths far below Hubei, about 10%, and nobody here notices or cares. Wrong message, perhaps. China, we don't normally do China because it's basically Hubei, so population adjusted is extremely low. China didn't lie, they gave us Hubei data. If people don't look, they're to blame. What's interesting is that it's totally flat. Death disappeared to a literal zero. Yet we're in lockdown. Why? Second wave. What second wave? China defeated it. We don't want to, or they don't want us to. Indonesia. Cases at Hubei deaths. Deaths less than 10% of Hubei. Lying Indonesia. A few deaths a day. Residual versus 24-64 a day. Normal deaths at 9 per thousand. Standard mortality. Japan. Very low cases. Very low deaths. Cases plummeting. Deaths lingering around 10 per day versus 24-64. Other deaths. Korea Republic of Flatline a long time ago. Cases a fraction of Hubei. Deaths 10% of Hubei. A common figure in Asia. Deaths a few a day versus 24-64. Normal deaths. Again and again. But does anyone notice? Third world liars perhaps. Malaysia. Oh gee. Another far eastern country well below Hubei in cases. And deaths less than 10% of Hubei. A few deaths a day when it's not zero. If only our media cared about facts, not agenda. New Zealand, even the round eyes can get in on the Far East action. So it's not a genetic thing or a cultural thing. It's a stay away from the New York EU UK axis thing. Philippines yawn. Cases at Hubei death level, deaths at 10%, not dying off, but a trickle a day at just over 10 deaths versus 2464 normal deaths a day. Philippines, if there was one honest reporter in the UK or US, we'd be out of lockdown and our politicians would be in jail. But our sceptical reporters, Peter Hitchens, don't like figures, it seems. Pity. Singapore, massive cases, minuscule deaths, testing them. Deaths zero per day, more often than not, hence not appearing, and overall 10% of Hubei. Where have I heard that before? Thailand, so yawn. Cases Hubei deaths, deaths a tiny fraction of Hubei, well below 10%. Cases plummeting. Deaths per day, 2 zero to show. Vietnam, cases below 10% of Hubei deaths. Deaths? They had one, but they cancelled it. No kidding. 
Pick any Far Eastern country or take the lot of them and you have what we could have had. All it would have taken was a government, media, science, universities and finance not against us. But we're free, right? India, climbing but from low level, showing some curl over. Iran, mirroring Hubei, gentle drop off. Iraq, cases at Hubei deaths, deaths at less than 10% of Hubei, positively Far Eastern. Israel, cases above Hubei, deaths below Hubei, falling off, deaths a little more slowly than ideal. Pakistan, climbing linear, exponential in cases, with two prior curlovers. Deaths, modest curlover, but still not at peak. UAE, sporadic data it seems, but Hubei cases, sub-Hubei deaths, an approaching peak a bit late, but it is what it is. As with any infection, it's best to steer clear of infected people. With a political virus, it's best if you can move your country away from New York, UK or Brussels. There it is. Moral of the story is, don't be part of the US-UK-EU axis. Other moral is, if any part of our society was honest, government, media, science, universities, industries, finance or police, we'd be out of here and our politicians would be in jail. I never thought I could ever find myself living a life where the government had turned so clearly against us, but it seems here we are living or well. To most that's so inconceivable that they cannot or will not even look at the rest of the world to see how they've been lied to and duped. And because they're stuck, we're stuck. It's not a happy place to be. I'm still Andrew May, the six-year-old Brit, mathematician, financier, technologist, husband, biker, pilot, healer, whatever. Feel free to get in touch, andrew at peerlessreads.com or andrewamather.com. Either should get to me.